Apple just wrapped up WWDC and we have a lot to go through. First off, iPad now has a native calculator app and that is awesome. Apple started out with Vision Pro and Vision Pro has some pretty cool features, mainly the one being where the Mac display can now be an ultra wide display. I think that looks awesome. I think that is incredible. That is the main one that stuck out to me. Also, spatial photos are now a thing and you can make any 2D photo into a spatial photo. Canon cameras also now have a new lens for spatial videos. Incredible, so excited. iOS 18, that is the big daddy. iOS 18 now has a lot of customization features. Mainly, you are able to now customize your home screen. You are able to change the color of apps you may be able to do a dark mode on the app icons, able to change the color to match the wallpaper. You're able to change icons and move their move the location of the icons, not just the grid, but now into a, you can move a row of app icons to different parts of the screen. So it's no longer just in the grid. You can't, it's not free to move anywhere, but it's still a huge jump from where we were just yesterday essentially you're able to now change the camera and flashlight shortcuts on the home on the lock screen to whatever you want them to be same thing with the action button and that is going to be a game changer something subtle that i noticed is that in control center when you can they talk about where you can change a lot of stuff in control center now you can resize things everything in control center was rounded it looks a lot more like vision os i'm so excited for that I think iOS 18 was huge. We have a lot of new Apple AI features and it's everything you thought of. It's going to be mail summaries. It's going to be writing out notes for you and you can change the tone of the voice. It's going to be the emoji generator that we talked about. It's going to be image generators. And these are all really cool features coming to M1 or later and iPhone 15 pros. So kind of limited to the newer stuff but for the people who have it wild so excited, so ready for all of this. iPad OS was a kind of a disappointment in my opinion. Didn't have a lot of the features and if you want to see what features I was hoping would come, check out some of the videos listed down below. But iPad OS essentially got a lot of the customization features that iPhone got, but also got now a floating tab bar as Apple calls it. So, so you don't have a full sidebar taking up half your screen. So that's kind of cool. But that's really the biggest redesign iPad OS got. And so that's a cent that's all we got really for that. And so that's gonna be pretty okay. Kind of disappointing the rest of the way with iPad OS. Everything else in iPad OS essentially was on the iPhone as well. With the image generation and with the home screen and lock screen customizations. It's gonna be really cool, but kind of disappointment. Siri's changed. Siri has been updated. Siri is now incredible. Siri now has a new look to where she goes around the whole perimeter of the screen. It's no longer just a little dot in the middle. She has context clues. She has personal awareness. Siri is kind of smart now. What an idea. I'm really excited to see this in action and really hope it works. Watch OS has a new app, the Vitals app. It's gonna be able to tell you a lot of your vitals, a lot of things the health app already did, but just more essentially. They didn't really say what watches this will work with, but I'm assuming it's going to be the newest ones. Oh, did I mention that the iPhone now has RCS support? Came in WWDC, we were all expecting it. Apple didn't even mention it, but subtly put it in one of their old cards. AirPod Pros have some new features as well, starting with voice isolation. You're able to isolate your voice whenever you're walking through a lab construction area or something, you're on the phone. The other person can't hear anything but your voice. Kind of a really cool feature. I guess AirPods Pro already had that, that hardware in it, just wasn't unlocked software-wise. So now it's a thing. Super cool, excited to try that out. That's gonna be a big deal for when my wife and I talk on the phone because she hates when I use my AirPods because it always sounds windy, especially when I'm driving. Games now can use spatial audio and that's coming this fall, just like everything else. Home and TV OS are now able, you're able to see songs and actors, see subtitles at certain times, 21 by nine projectors. Some really cool features to tvOS, but I feel like they're kind of niche features. Nothing new with HomePods. SharePlay, now you can remote, you can now remote control somebody else's device through your phone or iPad. And I'm super excited for that. Now, for one of the bigger updates, macOS. 
Mac OS Sequoia now has math notes that you that we talked about in iOS 18, iPad OS 18. You are now able to do things with the new Smarter Siri. And now the biggest one to me is iPhone mirroring. iPhone mirroring is essentially, you know how you can kind of mirror your Apple Watch from your iPhone? Now you can mirror your iPhone from your watch. Wow. Now you can mirror your iPhone from your Mac. It'll open up a screen and it'll just be what's on your iPhone. You can see iPhone notifications. You can control apps and type, type in the apps with the keyboard and trackpad on the Mac itself. That is a really, really cool thing that is coming. I'm, I wish that would be a thing where you can control your iPhone from your iPad as well. And maybe that is a thing already and I just don't know. That is super, super cool. I'm so excited to be able to use that. I'm so excited to be able to see how other people are going to use that. That seems like a huge time saver. This whole event felt like just time saving the event. You can do things that would take minutes. Now you can do it in seconds. And they said that multiple times and so excited for that. Now, of course, a passwords app. Finally, we have a passwords app, just like LastPass, one password. These companies out of business. Now we have Apple passwords. It's going to be really cool, really simple. I cannot wait that launches and I can just do everything from that. Lastly, but not leastly, Humane AI pen, Rabbit R1 pen, out of business. And Apple was subtly jabbing them so many times during this event. And I am so excited to see how all of these new chat GPT features are going to work on the iPhone. Yes, you heard me right. Chat GPT 4.0 is now integrated to the iPhone itself. Apple made a deal with them and it's all for free. For all coverage on WWDC and a lot of new features and a lot of fun exploring this, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. I'm Jake, this is Shot on My Phone.